<laughs> so, these motherfuckers are crazy. These motherfuckers are crazy. Yo, they got the baby? Bro, what? Come on. Bro, what? Come on, let's go. This is show. Show up. Bro, that's crazy. This is how you know the police did wrong. I'm in there waiting to see the magistrate. For three hours. They done made me take 12 different mud shots fucking with me. These niggas, the two arresting officers coming in and tell the COs, we need Jonathan Kirk's property. And take me back out. The intake, though, the same, though, that they brought me in on handcuffs. I'm walking past I'm walking past niggas that's being brought into jail on my way out. Everybody in the world who ever been to jail, especially in, in Charlotte, you know it's policy for them to cut this band off of you before they let you out the door. They didn't take me out the right door. They took me out the same door they brought me in. They illegally searched me, illegally arrested me, and stupid ass niggas illegally released me. What I got a property bag for with a citation. Wristband still on my wrist. Niggas dropped me off on 4th Street and put Star 67 in on their phone and asked me if I wanted to make a phone call. I said, hell nah. Unblock the number. I'll make a phone call. Nah, you can't make no phone call on my phone. I said, that's why you supposed to give me the right to make a phone call at the jail. But you scary motherfuckers done fucked up and then pulled me out of the jail like I was already in processing, trying to cover up your tracks. And you slipping. And the news cameras was right there waiting. They seen me get out the car. So, yeah. Y'all in motherfucking trouble, dog. And you know, y'all in trouble. I'm finna go and pay the lawyer. I might leave this on for Christmas to the, to the, to the news. Put y'all a little story out tomorrow. Okay, we free to, you free to go. We about to drop you off around the corner. And gave me a citation. They said I resisted arrest. Now what I did, seeing how they were unlawfully searching my car while I was on stage, before I went on stage, I continued to perform, put on the show for my fans. Had my, my outstanding video production team, the Real Goats, had them prepared and had this right here put on me and pulled their own trick on them. So what we got is high quality audio and video of me doing everything but resisting arrest before they just brought me out here. And we will be airing it out and y'all will see how dirty the CMPD Police Department just did me on the holidays in front of my daughter while I was putting on a show for my city. Y'all have a good night. What did they charge you with, baby? They didn't charge me with shit. They just me with misdemeanor marijuana? With, with resisting arrest. Resisting arrest? Yeah, y'all gonna see a video on my Where the Vlad Boosie flashback hypnotized with hatred? Video when Mike you need one, it. Two, one, two. Cloud tokens here. Make sure you subscribe. The baby just got harassed I will harass you in the and arrested in, fact, in his city of Charlotte. Right, so, look. so he was doing a show in Charlotte, his hometown, which is where he from, where he blew up first at, until he went mainstream. In a lot of these cities, the cops hate the rappers that made it out, and they'll always harass them. Throw weed on them, throw stupid charges that don't even make sense. And this is what they did to the baby. So he was on live, as y'all seen, saying how they arrested him, had him in jail. They was doing some shady shit. So they let him go. They made him take like 30 mug shots, took his clothes and all that. All for nothing. Just because they wanted to. The cops is one of the biggest gangs in the world. And they legal. They can legally do gang shit and get no repercussions. Or rarely get repercussions. But the baby did one of the smartest things a rapper could do. 
He held an entire press conference. Not yelling, not acting a fool. Calm, cool, and collected. And told him what happened. And apparently he's going to come out with a video about it. And basically going to expose the Charlotte Pol Police Department on how they act against the rappers. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I'm not even surprised. Cops do this in all the hoods and all the cities. They hate to see the once gang member who was struggling, selling pack to pack, check to check. They was arresting him all the time. And then six months later, they see him again. And he rich, got rollies on their wrists, bust down Cuban chains, gold or diamond teeth. And they just risking their life every day for $30,000 a year. They might not even make it back home. And they mad about that. It's quite obvious. But y'all let me know what y'all think.